In today's news headlines, a man who has been sought by the police is among 25 individuals who were arrested in Jarrett Lane. Two of these persons are suspected to be leaders of dangerous groups and they were caught in Jarrett Lane yesterday in East Kingston during an early morning operation which was being conducted by the Joint Anti-Dangerous Group Task Force. One of these men has been identified as Higgins, who was listed as one of the individuals who were being sought by the JCF on Wednesday. Higgins and the other man were among 25 men arrested during the operation. According to the police, the law enforcement officers were targeting dangerous tools, unscrupulous individuals and dangerous groups to disrupt the dangerous activities within the vicinity. The police stated that Higgins, who was being sought for a shelling incident, was captured despite change in his complexion multiple times. No dangerous tools or accessories were found during the approximately seven-hour operation, and one person mentioned that there is no surprise as the youths in the community do not behave in a manner that is suspicious unless they are provoked. It was further mentioned that if no one causes harm or trouble to these youths in the vicinity, then there will be no shellings in the area. It was further stated that the youths are nice and respectful to everyone in the community. It was said that even animals are respected greatly by these youths. Of course, they said that if you trouble someone who is mentally unstable in these areas, then persons will cause harm to you. No man or woman can actually have a dispute. It was further stated that order is what operates in the vicinity. So there will be no dangerous tools that will be found in the vicinity because peace and love is what they are dealing with. Another person whose house was searched during the operation mentioned that her mentally challenged youth was arrested but she's confident that he will be released without any charges being laid against him. She further stated that the law enforcement officers entered her house early in the morning and she actually called out on her deity. She said that they asked her why she was calling on her deity and they were asking who was in her house. She further stated that she gave them the names of her youths and then she called them out. And she said that at that time they told her that she needed to provide an explanation for the names that she called her youths. In response, she said that she mentioned to them that those were the names that she used for them from they were born. Another individual said that she was awakened by a light shining through a window accompanied by knocking on her door. She said that she initially thought it was someone that she knew but later realized that it was a group of persons who were members of the security forces. It was close to 4 a.m. that she heard knocking on her door. Then she realized that a light was shining in her house and she began to wonder what it was. When she opened the door and her eyes adjusted to the light, she realized that she was looking into approximately 10 dangerous tools. She said that the group left with a lot of individuals. Some of them were mentally challenged. She further stated that she understands that these persons are working. So she further allowed them to do what they needed to do. Man who caused harm to a woman is in receipt of the full length of the law from the judge who presided over the case. On Thursday, a very lucid message was sent to individuals who caused harm to women that they would receive their just reward for their behavior. In addition to ordering this man to make restitution of $180,000 to the woman that he caused harm to, 
The judge remanded him in custody until April 21st. And he will receive the amount of time that he should spend behind bars. It was further stated that uh, the view is that it is irresponsible and that it sends a very poor message to have a man cause harm to a woman or to do certain sort of things and to just wave money at the problem. 23-year-old Gordon was brought before the court after he caused harm to his ex-girlfriend after accusing her of stepping outside of the relationship. He pleaded guilty to causing harm. It was further reported to the Stony Hill Police that on February 22, the complainant was at home when Gordon visited her to return her cell phone, which she had asked him to repair. He then asked her to open the phone, after which he started to search the call logs and messages. Gordon later accused the complainant of being unfaithful and started to cause harm to her causing hurt to her lips, nose, and her eyes. She also received hurt to her neck, which caused it to change size. The investigating officer told the court that several days after the incident, the complainant made a report to the police that Gordon had mentioned some caustic statements to her and against her family. It was further alleged that he also mentioned some caustic statements in reference to causing conflagration to her house. Judge Cole Montague asked that the woman be repaid for the hurt that she received. She requested $50,000. However, the judge, thinking aloud, said that Gordon should pay no less than $150,000. She then ordered him to pay the woman $180,000. It was further said that, when I ask you about how much you would like, ma'am, that will not be the end all. Money cannot erase what was done, but it can go some way in terms of your out-of-pocket expenses and having to go to the doctor and walking around with hurt on your body and for a little while. I am not going to sit here and allow you to shortchange yourself. A message must be sent to these men. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.